Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss important formulas used in distortionless line. The condition for distortionless line is R by L is equal to G by C. That can also be written as RC is equal to LG. Okay. Then the attenuation constant alpha is equal to square root of RG. Phase constant beta is equal to omega into square root of LC. Velocity of propagation V is equal to 1 by square root of LC. And the characteristics impedance Z0 is equal to square root of L by C. So, this all are the formulas used in distortionless line. Okay. The first problem. A distortionless transmission line has attenuation constant alpha is equal to 1.15 in 10 to the power of minus 3 nepper per meter and capacitance of 0.1 nanofarad per meter. The characteristics resistance that is square root of L by C is equal to 50 ohm. Find the resistance, inductance and conductance per meter. Okay. So in this problem, let's start with that given data. What are the given data? Alpha is equal to 1.15 in 10 to the power of minus 3 nepper per meter. Capacitance is equal to 0.1 nanofarad per meter. And here the characteristics resistance that is nothing but Z0 is equal to square root of L by C is equal to 50 ohm. So we are going to find out the resistance, inductance and conductance by using these three values. Okay. First, we are going to find out the value of inductance by using this characteristics impedance. Square root of L by C is equal to 50. We are going to take square on both the sides. So, L by C is equal to 50 square. That is nothing but 2500. Then move this C to this right hand side. Substitute the value of this capacitance. That is 0.1 in 10 to the power of minus 9. Nanofarad. Correct? Then we can get the answer as the inductance value is equal to 250 nanohenry per meter. Do you all understand? Next we are going to find out R and G values. For that we can use this condition for distortionless line. R by G is equal to L by C. So here L by C value is what? L by C value is 50 square. That is 2500. R by G value is equal to 2500. From this we can move this G to this right hand side. So R is equal to what? 2500 G. The attenuation constant value is given. Alpha is equal to 1.15 into 10 to the power of minus 3 nepper per meter. The formula is square root of R into G. Here we have to substitute the value of this R as 2500 G. 1 G is already there. So we can write square root of 2500 G square. Take the square root here. So it becomes 50 G is equal to 1.15 in 10 to the power of minus 3. That is the attenuation value. Then we can move this 50 to this right hand side in the denominator. Then we can get the value as G is equal to 23 micro mohm per meter. Okay, it is the micro that is 10 to the power of minus 6. Okay, so R is equal to 2500 G. So G can be replaced with that value 23 in 10 to the power of minus 6. Then we can get the answer like this. So here R is equal to 57.5 milli ohm. Okay, so we have obtained all the primary constant of this distortionless line. This is the second problem. A transmission line has the following parameters per kilometer. R is equal to 15 ohm. C is equal to 15 microfarad. L is equal to 1 millihenry. G is equal to 1 micro ohm. Find the additional inductance to give distortion less transmission. That means these all are the parameters for the general transmission line with distortion. We are going to find out the additional inductance required to give distortion less transmission. Okay. So in the solution part for distortion less line the condition is L by C is equal to R by G. We are going to obtain the value of this L by using the given parameters R, C, G. Substitute those values here then we can get the answer as 255 Henry. So this is the inductance value 
for distortion less line. But 1 milli Henry is already given in the problem, right? So the additional inductance required is 255 minus 1 because 1 is already there, right? So we can get the answer as here it is milli Henry. Milli means 10 to the power of minus 3. We can get the additional inductance required to give the distortion less transmission is 224.999 Henry.